as part of managing our relationships, which is part of pillar two, I'd like to talk to you about the topic of am I, am I hot, am I desirable? You may ask why? Well, the sexual revolution promised more freedom and sexual fulfillment and made casual sex acceptable. However, the benefits of this is being reconsidered by many. Sexuality is not devoid of values. When sexuality is imbued with love, responsibility, and commitment, it deeply enhances our, ha our happiness. However, without love and intimacy, sex can become empty, self-serving, ungratifying, or even abusive. You just have to read about the lack of fulfillment of men and women experience in their relationship to know that there is something wrong with casual approach to sex. The famous Tina Turner lyrics attest to this. It's that it's only the thrill of a boy meeting a girl. Opposites attract. It's physical. What's love got to do with it? What's love but a secondhand emotion? People are often confused about sex and love. There are several reasons for this. First is the sexual revolution confused this. You have to have, you can have sex, but it doesn't mean that it's done out of love. Second is children are increasingly targeted and exposed to sexualized media. The premature Im imposition of adult sexuality onto young people before they are capable of dealing with it mentally, emotionally, and physically is not helping them understand the difference between love and sex. First, young people are struggling because they're often sold the idea that they have to look sexy and hot and present themselves as sexually desirable in order to attract attention. Look at the music videos, girl and boy magazines, Women are often portrayed as provocative and men as sexually dominant. What's the message here for boys is often that, that sexually, to be sexually dominant and in some ways to objectify the female body. A UK government report concluded that being sexy is no longer about individuality or about girls being true to their authentic voice. Young people have been displaced actually from their natural form of who they are, by the intrusion of sexualization imposed by adults. In my own research about values, 14-year-old girls and boys told me that some of their peers post revealing pictures of themselves in order to get more attention on social media. Teens are on the lookout for likes and hots. So what, so what do you do as a young person if you don't consider yourself hot. School programs are today targeting this issue by seeking to address body dissatisfaction, a recognized risk factor for poor self-esteem, depression, and eating disorder. So what do you do then if you don't consider yourself hot? This is a critical thing for young people right now. And we need to actually really think about how we can guide them through this process to understand what healthy sexuality looks like and what men and women, relation, men and women relationships should look like. Problem is that porn is not helpful and in fact is confusing love with sex. People are often confused about this. Children, unfortunately, are increasingly exposed to sexualized media. And it, when, when it comes to internalizing media and advertising messages, research tell us that, and developmental psychologists have shown that children do not have the cognitive skills, the ability to understand and cope with the per pervasive and persuasive messages that, are, that they are exposed to in the media. Well, there's diverse views about online porn, but this, but the issue is that porn presents women as sexual objects of gratification and often involves even physical aggression. So no wonder young people are confused about what sex looks like 
what it means to be a man, what it means to be a woman, and even what it means to love someone. Research shows that repeated exposure to sexualized images contribute, contributes to inappropriate sexual attitudes, sexual harassment, and stereotype perceptions. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you can email me at bellavancja at gmail.com.